Good morning, makers, and welcome back to the studio for another episode of Saturday Morning Craft Along. I'm your host, Agnes. For today's show, we have a very special craft planned to go along with a certain festival that just kicked off right here in Kitchener, Waterloo. Of course, that festival is called Oktoberfest. And what better way to get into the spirit of things than making a special festive hat? Now I've put together a little outfit today to help me get into the spirit of things, but I am missing that very important piece to go on my head. So I've made a special sample I'd love to show you. And if you're ready, let's just jump on in and get started. So here is my sample hat that I made. It's made of paper and it's just folded with a few staples. And I've put an elastic band here to help keep it on my head. And I've got a pipe cleaner inside to help give the feather its shape. I've also added one more special embellishment, which is just a little cardboard pretzel that I cut out using a knife. So that's an extra special thing. You can decide if you want to add in later. You can decorate your hat any way you'd like. So the one thing I did forget about um, the green is that it doesn't show up on my camera because with my studio set up here, I have a green screen and you can see that my hat, it just disappears because it's made of green paper. So I always forget about that <laughs> when I'm making my samples. I don't, I don't remember that it doesn't show up. So I'm going to be using some yellow paper for my second hat today. And I thought since my suspenders are red, I could go with a red sheet of paper to make my feather. So what you'll need to get started are three sheets of construction paper. So two of them will be used for the hat. One will be used for the feather. And you'll also need a pipe cleaner to be the center of your feather. The color doesn't matter because you won't really end up seeing it. Um, some other tools I have are a stapler. That's going to help put the hat together nice and quick. If you don't have a stapler, you could also use tape or glue, but I like using staplers if you have one. A glue stick and we have some scotch tape. You could also use masking tape or any kind of tape really because it's going to be on the inside of the hat and you won't see it at all. I also have some markers for decorating. So that's optional. You can use markers or you don't have to. <laughs> I also have a pair of scissors. And one final thing that you might wish to, to add is a, an elastic cord. So if you don't have elastic cord, what you could use is ribbon or yarn um, and just use it and tie it like in a bow under your chin. But um, you might be able to repurpose uh, even some elastic from some old masks or things like that. Uh, just look around the house, see what you got. Okay, so the first step into making our hat is to prepare the pieces of paper. So we're gonna need our tape and everything else can go off to the side. So I'm using just regular construction paper. It measures nine inches by 12 inches, but this process will also work with regular computer paper um, or any paper around the similar size. It will just make a different size hat in the end. So if you want to end up making a hat that's smaller, what you could do is cut down your rectangle a little bit smaller. So maybe it'll be a better fit for like um, a small child's head. <laughs> So if you have a really small head, you might need to modify the pattern here. But the one that I'm making is going to fit my head. So what I need to do is I need to actually join these two pieces of paper together with a seam. So I'm going to be using some tape to join them together so that it ends up being one big piece. I'm just going to line them up nice and careful. And I'm going to take my tape and get a nice big piece ready. Go ahead and tape it down. There we go. If your tape is too long, like mine is, you could just go ahead and trim it. Lovely. So this is what your sheet should look like. One side has tape, the other does not. Then we're going to take our sheet of paper and we'll fold it in half so that the tape is on the inside. So it's kind of like a little book. Then you're going to turn your page so that the opening is at the bottom. 
and we're going to fold it in half like a book. Take your time when you're getting your corners lined up so everything ends up nice and straight looking and give it a nice push on the seam or on the crease. So this is what it should look like when you open it. Pretty simple to start. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. And now that we have this nice crease in the middle, we are gonna use that as our guideline for where to fold the rest of the page. So I'm going to start on the left side and I'll take the top corner and I'll bring it all the way down to my center crease. So it's got a nice triangle. And then fold it and give it a nice push. Okay, and we're gonna repeat that step with the other corner. So take it and it's gonna meet the other, the other triangle. So it looks like a little house now. So this is what yours should look like. Okay, you're ready for the next step. We're going to take the bottom flap, just one of them. We're gonna flip it up and, and just push it So it looks like this, give it another crease. So now it kind of looks like a little boat. <laughs> we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat on the opposite side. We're gonna flip it up so everything matches. So here's my boat looking thing. One more thing we're going to do before we fold this into our hat is to uh, fold this top down. So this top edge is going to meet this bottom edge. So just take it, fold it. So you have a nice skinny rectangle now, like this. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So just go ahead and flip it over and you can fold this down to meet the other side. Okay, so here is what your hat should look like at this stage. We're going to need something to hold it together in the next step. So I'm going to be using my stapler, but you could also use tape. Um, stapler is probably the fastest. So we're going to open up our hat in the middle. Whoop, pop. And it's going to look something like this. So what I like to do with the um, front corners here is to just kind of fold them down. See, it just kind of tucks into the one side, fold this other side down. So now it's nice and smooth looking. And then just to hold this little flap from popping up, that's where the stapler comes in. There you go. And now we're going to repeat that step on the other side of our hat. So just tuck in the one side, fold it down, and then the other one folds right on top. This is a really quick and simple way to make a hat. And the fun part comes in all the decorating, of course. So now I can do a little test fit to see how it's fitting on my head. And I think it's fitting pretty nicely. But the one thing I do need to add to keep it on my head is that little chin strap. So I want to add my elastic cording um, or yarn or whatever you have. And I like to add it into the middle of the hat. So where you see that little cr the crease in the center, that's where we'll be adding our, our elastic. And the one trick to getting it to stay on is to actually add a little knot. So you take the end of your cord and you make a little knot like this. Then when I add the staple, it's going to have something to kind of catch it. So I'm going to add another knot on the other end of my cord. Like so. And then when I go with my stapler, I'm going to put it here with the little knot there 
and I'm going to staple just below the knot. So it should look like this. So when I'm put when this gets pulled, the knot will get caught against the staple. So it's kind of just like your standard party hat assembly. <laughs> if you've ever made a party hat, maybe you haven't. This is your first time. So everything will be a little bit new for you. So we're just going to repeat that process on this side, adding the staple. This part is a little tricky, so you may need to ask an adult for some help. Okay, and then I'm tugging on it and it's not popping out. So now I can just do my test fit again with my chin strap and it feels very secure. I can do my polka dancing and my hat's not gonna fall off. But there's one special embellishment, which is the ostrich feather, that's really gonna make this hat really nice and uh, fun to wear because it kind of bounces around and it's really, really festive looking. So next we're going to make our ostrich feather. And for this one, I decided I'd like to maybe try to incorporate some extra designs by using some markers. And this might help give my feather a little bit more of an interesting look. So if you'd like to doodle on your pa page and make your feather a little more exciting, you can do that along with me today. So to make your feather, we're gonna take a full sheet of construction paper and we're going to fold it in half. So we're gonna fold in half long ways, like a hot dog, as they say. <laughs> hot dog bun. You know, ever heard that hot dog bun, hamburger bun? I use those analogies a lot when folding paper. <laughs> so the way this is gonna work is we're going to end up putting our pipe cleaner inside and we're going to glue it. And then we're gonna do a bunch of cutting with our scissors. So before we do all those steps though, um, I think we might like to do some drawing on our piece of paper. So with it folded in half, um, you can just kind of like, get, uh, I don't know, get into, get really loose with it. I like to just try to mimic the, the lines that the feather will make when I cut it. So I'm gonna kind of make these dashed lines. I'm not thinking about it too much. I just wanted to give it a little extra color. So lines are great. You could do polka dots, like, you know, your feather is gonna be totally unique. So it's whatever you want to do. That's mine looks like. And I'm going to repeat that, I think, on the other side. But hmm, I think some yellow might look good in here, maybe along the spine. Ooh, kind of just looks like the same color as the orange because of the red paper I'm using. I'm just going to keep filling it in until I feel like it's filled in enough. And then I think I'll flip it over and try to repeat the same pattern that I just made. Do my spine. There we go. Now this step is totally optional and you don't have to color on your page at all. The first sample I made, um, I didn't have anything. So here's my other feather. I just used the color of the page and used my scissors to cut. But I thought for today's tutorial, I'd like to try it with a little marker just to see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, so now you can open it back up to the middle and we're going to glue in our pipe cleaner. So grab your glue stick. We're going to be using a lot of glue here. So make sure your glue stick has enough and it's not like right at the end of the glue stick and you're going to run out. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to coat the entire page in glue. So, and you want to work really fast when you do this so that your glue doesn't dry out. Oh, I got to turn it up more. Don't worry about getting right up to the edges because we are, we are going to trim this. So mostly in the middle. That's great. Don't forget the cap. 
Then you'll take your pipe cleaner and you want it to stick out the bottom a few inches, maybe three inches is good, so that we have a way to attach it to our hat. Okay, and then once it's in the middle, you can go ahead and fold it closed. Hey, it looks lining up with my, my drawing, that's nice. And now that the pipe cleaner's in there, you wanna take your fingers, like your peace sign, and you're gonna rub it up along the pipe cleaner. And my pipe cleaner is kind of moving around inside. So I wanna try to keep it in the center if possible. But if it's not perfectly in the middle, that's okay too. So we wanna get it nice and stuck down in the middle and then go ahead and push on the rest of the page to get the, all the other sections stuck down. So if you're not sure if you used enough glue, you can always go back and add more if it's not staying closed and push, give it a lot of pressure when you're pushing. Give it a nice massage. Okay, so we are ready now, once the glue has had a chance to dry, to start cutting and shaping our feather. So I'm gonna take my scissors now and I'm going to cut, um, I'm gonna actually draw the line so you can see it. So I'm going to kind of curve the top of my feather because the feathers aren't, you know, rectangular. They are more organic shaped. So I want it to look nice and curvy on the edges. Get rid of those corners. So you don't have to draw them. You could just go in right with your scissors. But if it's helpful, you can draw a line and then trim along the line. So you have this nice big oval. And I can see here that I didn't have quite enough glue, like it's not staying closed. So I'm gonna go back and add a little more. This will probably happen to you. Some extra glue right where the pipe cleaner's coming out. Okay, it's looking a little more feather-like, but to give it that, that beautiful movement, we're gonna use our scissors and start cutting some um, some lines that are on a diagonal. So if you're holding your feather nice and straight like this, you can just hold your scissors on a bit of an angle and you're gonna cut um, very close to the pipe cleaner, but not all the way through. You don't wanna cut it completely. So here's kind of what it looks like. Just close to the center, not all the way. And just keep following that same angle as you make your cuts. Now I've been cutting mine about a centimeter um, apart. That seems like a good size. If you cut them really, really um, small, you'll just have a more, uh, a different looking feather. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this, but this is the way that I found that works best for me. So feel free to experiment with the way that your feather uh, comes together. So as we come to the top of the feather, now we have to start um, turning our scissor to kind of follow the curve. So I'm going to make, before I get all the way to the tip, you can see I'm not quite there. I might do one cut that's kind of straight in line, and then I'll go back and just try to cut back to where I left off here um, on a sort of like a fan shaped angle. So. That's half of my feather cut. So you can see this really makes it look really cool. Like a fringe, right? I think it's gonna look really great on my hat. So I'm just gonna continue with that process, working my way all the way around the feather. Being careful to make evenly spaced, um, evenly spaced cuts. It's helpful to have a nice long pair of scissors. If you have a short stubby pair, um, might have a little bit extra hard time doing this. This pair is great. Snip, snip, snip until you get to the bottom. Okay. And then you can ruffle up your feather, get it a little more uh, looking so it's not so flat looking. And you can 
bend it now that the pipe cleaner is stuck inside when you bend it that helps give it more of that organic shape as well so that's that's a really simple quick way to make um, a, a really impressive feather i think so now that we have our feather made um, it's time to install it into our hat and i found the best way is actually just to tuck it into um, one of the the brims so it doesn't actually matter which side you add it on you're gonna kind of pop it open a little bit and you see how there's room in there to tuck some things this is the best way to attach your feather so just tuck it into the brim push it down as far as it'll go and then I even like to tuck in a little bit of the feather as well this way um, I find that you don't really need to glue it or add staples, but if you want to make it extra secure, you could go ahead with another staple. Um, like if you're going to be running around and you think you're worried about your feather falling out, you could just go ahead and add another staple here. Like so, and that way it's not going to fall out at all. Um, and now the only thing left to do is to try it on. So here we go. Let's give our hat a little test run. Chin strap. Fix the bangs. <laughs> okay, and what do you think? I think it's quite lovely. Hey makers, thanks again for crafting along with us on today's show. I hope you enjoyed making your festive Oktoberfest hat and you'll share your finished photos with us. You can find us on Instagram and on Facebook. We'd absolutely love to see what you made. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and we'll see you again next time. Happy crafting!